Welcome back trainers. In today's video, I'm going to show you my strongest great league team. Now you said you play in times and channel, but I'm looking to switch it up. Normally I lead this team with a lantern, but today I'm going to lead it with the shadow machamp, got the lantern and the, and the Charizard in the back. So right here, we ended up switching. They bring in their uh, Swampert, which isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. We're going to go ahead and get to the surf here. Now we see MP and I'm thinking this is going to be an earthquake. Is it going to be the earthquake? Ah, no, they ended up baiting us. Darn it. Um, and also a quick reminder, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe, especially if you want to see more Pokemon Go content. So they end up using their shield there. And I'm like, dude, this has to be the earthquake. So at this point, I'm not going to invest in another shield. I'm just going to let it go. And guess what? It's a, no, it's a hydro cannon. So this isn't looking too bad so far. So we're going to go ahead and do another surf. It's not going to take it out, but it is going to bring it to the red. And I decide to switch back to my Machamp and just be able to snipe it. They bring back the Needle Queen, so it, it is honestly pretty rough. Um, I don't think I'm going to shield here. It's going to be a Poison Fang. Uh, we're not really going to be able to get to another cross drop after this. It's at least, um, and the cross drop is resisted, but at least it does a decent amount given that it is shadow. Now we're going to go ahead and go come back with the lantern and they're going to go ahead and throw some energy here and just, just honestly not looking too good. They're going to poison fang us and dang it. And we allow them to get extra farm there, but we couldn't switch out anyway, but this is not looking good. Basically from this point, I'm going to have to shield and i forget what the play was if i ended up trying to farm down no they have a galvantula and basically that's rip and they lowered our defense as you can see the i forget what the fast move is but they're just chunking us with the electric fast move so rip to the zard there moving on to the next match we got our, sh our shadow machamp lined up against a shadow grumble definitely not what you want to see and I didn't want to go ahead and swap out to the hard counter. I'd rather do more of a neutral uh, matchup. But we do get countered with the Venusaur. All good. Basically, what I'm looking to do here is I'm um, hope they're most likely just going to farm me all the way down. Uh, but no, actually, they decided to throw a move, which is even good for us. So basically, I'm going to let the Lantern go down now. Going to bring in the Zard. And I from here, I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm pretty sure this was just a, a frenzy plant, but maybe it's a sludge bomb. So I call it right. It was a sludge bomb. And from here, I should just be able to farm down. And I do farm down. I bank the blast burn there. They bring in a G-Fisk. I'm still farming. Almost build up to the two. So going to go ahead and throw the blast burn. Not going to go ahead and bait here. And they thought I was baiting goodbye to that G-Fisk. Going to go ahead and throw up. This is going to be a bait right here. Gonna go ahead and throw a Dragon Claw, and I hope that I can get the last and final shield. I do get it. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is swap out to my Machamp. I know they're not gonna go ahead and shield here. Um, because I think, do they have one more shield? Yes, they do. They had one more shield. I thought they didn't. I still have my shield left. I'm able to reach the Blast Burn, and that's a good bye to the Shadow Gramble. So managed to pull that out, even with a terrible lead. But as you can see, Shadow Machamp in the lead in this set isn't the best. Looks like Lancer would have been the one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go against a Noctowl. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is build up. I build up in this matchup. I build up to the, um, the Rock Slide. And then I go ahead and throw the Cross Chop. Right here, I over farmed. So honestly, this is probably a very, um, a very easy read, read for a bait, a bait. But I managed to still get it. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a cross chop. I'm going to do the cross chop. And will they shield? They end up shielding. I, I guess they don't want to lose switch. I'm going to go ahead and now bring in the lantern, which forces a switch. And they bring out their own lantern. I'm going to be able to get to the thunderbolt. And this is perfect. Why? Because they brought out their lantern. Now my Charizard doesn't have to worry as much, you know, going up against it. So they're going to go ahead and I'm thinking this is going to be a thunderbolt. I'm fine. I'm going to just let this one go. I let it go. I know that I'm going to be able to outpace to a Thunderbolt. Actually, no, this is going to be Surf. And I know it's Surf because I had the energy advantage. So I'm going to, I'll let it go. Uh, I think I do a little bit more. I do a little bit more just in case maybe that Noctowl comes back. But it does have energy, so it's, it's probably going to look to throw it and just take me out immediately. Uh, we're going to go ahead and find out right here. I'm pretty sure they're going to bring back the Noctowl. Yep, they brought it back. 
And there's just no point in me using the shield because I don't know what they have in the back. Because if they have a G-Fisk, that's all she wrote. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the Charizard. And it's an Azu. It's an Azu. So this is looking not as comfortable. But I still do have that one shield. And we do have the Shadow Zard. So um, I believe two is able to take it out. Two is able to take it out. We have the shield here. Not only that, though, we have to make sure we come out with some energy. We need a, an energy lead. So I do one more wing attack um, after reaching that blast burn. And wow, okay, I managed to get two two more wing attack, one more wing attack. So I managed to sneak that, and that was enough. I think that might have been CMP. And because of that, we were able to take the game. Very close game at the end there. Shout out Charizard pulled through. Let's freaking go. On to the next one, we got Shadow Machamp against a Lantern. Kind of a, it's a neutral matchup. It, it can be a little bit awkward. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try and see if I can CMP to it, but I don't manage to. This should be a surf, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and shield this. And I don't remember, honestly, if I win this one. I, I play it rather weird. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I think that was the CMP and a bit of a, a mistake there. I'm gonna do the cross chop and they decide to shield. And okay, so that wasn't CMP. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the second cross chop now. And they shield that. Because they shield that, I'm like, are they weak to um, a Shadow Machamp in the back? So, okay. So I decide to not shield there. I'm gonna go ahead and they're gonna do the Thunderbolt on me. And I'm gonna need my own Thunderbolt. Honestly, I could have farmed like two more sparks. I could have had like two more sparks there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Thunderbolt, take out that Lantern, and they're gonna go ahead and reveal. And I think this one is a loss. I think this next one is going to be an Altaria. Yep, it's going to be the Altaria. And we're going to be able to get to one Thunderbolt. But they will be able to get a ton of farm on us. Uh, they're going to be able to farm us the rest of the way down. They're not going to throw a move. So that's pretty much just going to be um, not... And I think I... I think I didn't... I failed to throw that Surf, which was, I think, crucial, honestly. I'm forced to shield here. Forced to shield here. And I think I forget just how much of an energy lead they had. And that, wow, wow, that was rough right there. That was rough. They managed to reach a sky attack. Had I been able to get to my Dragon Claw there, that probably would have been a lot better because I forget what uh, is the Pokemon in the back. Um, I think it was a freaking Noctowl, dude. Yep, it's a Noctowl. And man, that is so rough. That is so rough. There, We weren't going to be able to outpace the Rock Slide. I honestly, what I should have done is in the beginning before swapping at that Lantern matchup, I should have um, gone at least like three, three uh, cross chops in and then swapped out. Um, so I, I, I definitely could have won that match. But on to next one, we get our revenge in this set. Gonna go ahead and the way I play this matchup with the Shadow Machamp, I work my way all the way to the Rock Slide and then I bait with the cross chop. They fall for the bait. And now I'm going to go ahead and shield here. And once uh, once I shield, the first one's a bait and then the next one's a rock slide. But sometimes, hey, I don't want you guys to, um, I don't want to be too predictable. Sometimes I actually do go straight rock slide. But for the second one, we're going to go ahead. We're not going to go ahead and um, they end up catching the move. They end up, man, so beast. They're going to catch the move and going to go ahead and do the cross trap right here. This should be more than enough to be able to take it out if they don't shield. They end up shielding. They end up shielding right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring in, I think I bring in my Zard. I think I bring in, no, okay, no, I bring in the, I bring in the, the Lantern because I want him to throw an Earthquake. They throw the Earthquake, and now I'm going to go ahead, and this is kind of risky, I'm going to go ahead and now bring in the Zard. They bring in a Lantern, okay, they bring in the Lantern, they're going to be forced to throw. They're going to be forced to throw, this match is looking really close, do the Blast Burn, and they don't want to they don't want to deal with another blast burn so i think they maybe got like two more sparks after the surf um i'm not too sure but they take out the shadow zard and now at least i have an energy lead and now they're going to go ahead and take this uh they catch this thunderbolt onto the altar now it's looking really close i need to go ahead and throw the surf to be able to take it out and we cmp we cmp them Gonna go ahead and throw this Surf right here. Takes out the Altaria. And now I need to get to a Thunderbolt to be able to win this match. They're gonna go ahead and they, this should be the Thunderbolt, but it's not enough to take us out from this range. They bring us to the red. They're gonna need a Surf. 
and we CMP. We CMP for the win. Let's freaking go. We're going to go ahead and get this Thunderbolt off. Surf wouldn't have been enough. And that's a good game. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I finished with a 3-2 and two set. So go ahead and mess around with the team. Uh, I'd probably suggest do, do Lantern um, as the lead. But you, you, can, you can try to swap it out. Hopefully it works out for you guys. Let me know. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.